started, which was the biggest thing that I felt like I would never do, was number three. It's about the storm. Hey y'all, it's Jess and welcome back for another video. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Hi, I'm just now doing this video on how I experienced hair growth down my back. 2023 was a great year for hair growth for me and great year for hair overall. Um, this year, mm, I'm seeing not so much. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get started with that. I already wrote out all the notes and everything. I just really, again, didn't record the video. So now I'm going to show y'all like pictures in between with hair growth and what I experienced in 2023. So I'll start off when I noticed in growth and november 2022 with my puff my puff was really growing and then i noticed a lot of growth when i did my own silk press towards the end of the year and so what i would say that i continued to do a little differently to like boost my growth for 2023 is number one i focused on washing my hair more prior to 2023 i was washing my hair like three times a week well, three times a month. I was washing my hair like three times a month, four times a month, sometimes five. But now in 2023, well, not now, but then in 2023, I was actually washing my hair a little bit more. So I was washing my hair weekly and bi-weekly. Sometimes three times a month, but most of the time I was keeping that weekly to bi-weekly regimen. So, um, yeah, I wasn't doing that in 2022. It was my first year being completely natural, and I was trying to figure out a routine, which I did, but I was also, like, way more lazy um, because I was just trying to figure out what is the quickest, most efficient, yet I'm not trying to rip my hair out way to do my hair. So, um, yeah. I would say that's number one, washing my hair more, which creates more moisture, hydration. You're feeding your hair what it needs. I will say, like other people out here say, your hair is like a plant. You want to nourish it, you want to hydrate it, and you want to keep it moisturized, which adding water, at least as most as possible, will do that for you, especially for type 4 hair. Um, number two, I did more braid outs and twist outs. So that just causes you to just have a lot less single strand knots. Um, so that's during the time where I would focus on bi-weekly washes. So I'll wear my twist out or my twist in and my braids for that week. The next week, take it out and then wash it. So that's what I was doing. And then two, it's like because your hair is stretched, it's not in its shrunken state as often so it won't require you to have a lot of it's about the storm won't require you to have a lot of like time detangling while you're doing your hair so i will say that helped a lot of me retaining my length in 2023 because i did a lot less wash and goes i'm not going to say i cut them out and i don't think i will ever cut them out because i do love wash and goes but I did do them less. I would do like two per season. You know, there's like four seasons a year. I would do like about two per season, maybe three. And then the rest were braid outs and twist outs, especially if I'm washing my hair on a weekly by -week basis. Um, you know, washing my hair like up to six to 12 times a season. And you know, every season of that, three of those, maybe half of what I'm doing other styles braid out so i'll do half wash and go half braid out or twist out so if that makes sense if you do math um um i started which was the biggest thing that i felt like i would never do was number three deep conditioning in the shower so once i started deep conditioning the shower i noticed the difference my hair retained a lot of moisture because you're already in a moisture rich environment you're in the shower there's a lot of heat there's a lot of steam and you want to make sure that you have all of those things when you're deep conditioning because you want your deep conditioner to penetrate as most and as best as possible so it does require a little bit more time in the shower 
which I said I would never do because I didn't want to be in the shower forever but I noticed it was a difference so I just started doing that and I don't think I would ever go back unless I am going to deep condition outside of the shower I would invest in a steamer but as of now since I don't have one I'm going to like still deep condition in the shower so um yeah and it's just better for styling I also like just to throw something else in there I started using my leave-in I started actually applying my leave-in after I rinse out my deep conditioner too in there too so when I get out the shower all that I'm focusing on is actually styling and then using this spray bottle because I feel like using this spray bottle is more better for styling than it is deep conditioning unless you have like a steamer because it's like the more steam the more like heat that I have it's just better and then it's just regular air out here you know what I'm saying like when you get out of the shower so um I will say that um was number three and number four I focus on scalp health so going back to me wearing a lot of braid outs me wearing a lot of twist outs in between the times when I was wearing my twist in in my braids I was focusing on scalp health Notice I have on braids right now. So anytime that I have any type of um, style that's putting away my hair, I'm not wearing my hair out. Um, I am doing scalp health. I'm applying my hair serums to my scalp. I'm applying my hair oils. I do do that most of the time when I'm doing the stretched out styles or the protective styles. Just because I'd rather not apply oil to my hair when I'm doing a wash and go. I feel like it interrupts the product combination when I'm trying to achieve the definition and the look that I want um I may apply it like a couple days after I've done my wash and go but other than that I'm not using too many oils when I'm doing a wash and go to focus on my scalp right so yeah um I feel like that helped with the growth coming out of my scalp to be healthier and stronger in order to retain a lot more of that length once my hair started to grow more and out um so number four like i feel like towards the middle of the year of 2023 like june july august more towards the end um i noticed a lot more growth my hair experienced more volume my wash and goes were coming out better because my hair was more moisturized um comparing my hair from the year before in 2022 to the year before afterward in 2023 the two pictures that i took side by side well i took two pictures in the same exact spot and i experienced a lot more growth compared to the two years and then what y'all just seen just now with my different wash and goes how i experienced like more defined like coils and curls and then two my puff grew from the beginning of the year of 2023 toward uh i would say uh towards the end of the year in the end of summer august my puff had definitely my puff definitely my puff definitely grew a lot so um showing y'all those different pictures and showing y'all like how i experienced growth definitely really helped all those things prior to those all those points that i mentioned prior definitely help which leads me into which leads me into uh, number five which is i just continued my regimen um i in 2022 i created this routine and i just enhanced a lot of those things in 2023 in order to experience so much growth that when in december 2023 when i got my silk press it was like i was like oh my god like i was I was shocked but I was like not shocked because I knew what I was doing to my hair so I will say like focusing on what your hair needs at its given point in time and listening to your hair and just making sure that if your hair needs it if y'all can hear me over this thunder um focusing on what your hair needs um because I sometimes would deep condition, you know, and sometimes not last year. Um, and noticing that, you know, you don't have to deep condition every time, especially if your hair is in a healthy state. But if you do need to deep condition, if you need that extra, like, moisture, deep condition, you don't want to neglect your deep conditioning at all. So I will say that pretty much. 
um does it for this video um stay tuned for the next video to show y'all a little bit more insight about how my hair is doing this year of course y'all i think i'm gonna continue to give y'all yearly updates i know i'm way past overdue i'm about a year and a half instead of a year into this year update but i will say um Stay tuned to the next video to see how my hair is doing now. And then, of course, next year I will give y'all an update as in its whole entirety next year of my hair and how it did when it's 2025. So, yeah, um, stay tuned to the next video um, and I'll see you in that video. Bye.